people like to remember easy, easy things that they don't have to, I don't know, kind of dig down in their memory to, to remember what it was. Uh, so for example, a lot of people use the common phrase, and this is from a TV show, winter is coming, which is from Game of Thrones. Uh, so a lot of people have a password of winter is coming 2022 or something like that. Uh, but it's a very common phrase. And hackers know that people like to use common phrases. So a hacker may potentially even try to use a phrase like that when trying to log into my account. So just having a common phrase itself isn't necessarily enough. Um, so the two things that we typically recommend are one password managers. Uh, we offer LastPass here, uh, but a password manager is good because it will generate a totally random, unique password that you're gonna have no chance of ever remembering. Uh, but you don't need to because the password manager usually also stores the password for you. A password is a good start, but without having multi-factor authentication as an extra line of defense, anyone who gets your password or manages to guess it can still get access to your account. So imagine you're a hacker and you need to meet some kind of quota for how many companies you've hacked into lately. What do you think is gonna be easier? Finding Wild Cornell, scanning our internet presence for any computers that are out there, identifying open ports, identifying the applications that are running on those ports, identifying the versions of those applications that are there, reverse engineering the software to figure out what changed and how could you take advantage of it, and creating a custom virus to take advantage of that specific issue, testing it on your own servers before attacking us with it, or would you rather just send a phishing email to somebody and say, hey, can you give me your password? There's a big difference there in terms of how much work is involved. And hackers are people just like us. And if they can take a shortcut and get something done with one email in five minutes, instead of putting in a few weeks of work to try to get the same thing done, they're going to click the pick, they're going to pick the quick and easy routes. That means there's a whole lot more social engineering and phishing email attacks coming into us than there are highly skilled technical hackers coming, uh, coming after us at any given time. Uh, when it comes to your data, something is, uh, your credit card, for example, could be worth anywhere from a dollar to $50, depending on supply and demand and what your credit limit might be. Uh, health insurance, for example, you could pay upwards for a couple hundred dollars on the black market if you wanted to steal someone's health insurance information for some kind of medical procedure, for example. Uh, even, even access to someone's email account, you can usually buy for a couple dollars. And even though you may personally think your email is worthless, who wants to read all that junk mail you get anyway? The thing most people don't realize is a lot of websites have a reset password link. So even though your email itself may not have good stuff, I could click the reset password link on your bank account and that would send a reset password email to your email account. And then I could use access to your email account to reset the password for the more valuable bank account. So there's always something out there that has value to somebody. And there's always somebody who is willing to put the time in to find a way to turn an invaluable thing into a valuable thing.